Hmm, I think it's time to upgrade my keyboard. Let's see what's available. Dang, that sounds insane. I wonder how much it is online. Hey guys, I'm Simulator Tech, and today I'm going to show you guys how I built my dream keyboard for only $200. Also, I just want to say thank you guys so much for 200 subscribers, like, that's, that's pretty cool. Just to let you guys know, I just launched the official Simulator Tech Instagram account. Make sure to follow me over there for early updates. I'll probably run polls over on Instagram so you guys will be able to help me make some decisions and videos. So for the build, I'm going to use this Navy Bakken Echo 60. I just set it on this board because it's very budget friendly, coming in at only $130. And it uses a gummy o-ring mount, which is the same as the single unicorn, which is the sound test I played during the beginning of the video. I also got this board used from Keebs for All Marketplace for like $110 I think, and it was like barely used. It came with a standard 50A ring and FR4 plate, so that's what I ended up using. For the switches, we're going with the classic Gateron yellows that I use for a ton of builds. If you haven't seen, I actually showcased this board in two videos using some JWIC black switches. Both configs sounded pretty good, but I wasn't really a fan of the messy top out sound of the JWICs. The Gateron yellows I'm using for this build have been lubed with Crytox 205G0 on the housings and stem, and Super Lube Oil on the springs. They're also filmed with Duroc films. Now if you're a channel OG, you remember these keycaps from my Epo Maker EP84 build. They're double shot PBT and they're OEM profile. The quality of the printing is quite good for the price too. After trying a few different configurations with the Gateron yellows, I settled on no mods except for some polyfill in the case, because personally, I think this board sounds better without the ever popular tape mod and PE foam. I have no hate for those mods, like, I even have a build that's specifically made for that creamy marbly sound. Anyways, here's the sound test. Overall, I really like this build. The sound is super clean and crisp, and I think the keycaps match the board really well. Anyways, that's all I have for this video. Bye!